Hello, I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to emphasize motion in your photography while also showing you how to create edgy magazine style edits with some really cool tools inside of Luminar Neo. I have this image here that I took on a recent fitness photo shoot with an athletic model. The goal was to showcase his movements using some creative lighting as well as some handheld camera shake. On top of that, we did some shutter drag, and that's where these blurry lines are coming from. So the first step I'm always gonna make in Luminar with a raw image is go into our develop panel. I think the exposure's good, but I am gonna bump up the contrast while also bringing up the highlights to make the image brighter overall. To balance this out, I'm gonna bring the shadows down a little bit, and that really dials in our contrast right where I want it. Typically, my second step is to go in the enhance AI tab. I don't think we need an accent AI on this. However, we have this big, beautiful blue sky in the background, so I'm going to increase the sky enhancement to add some depth to our image. And this is a great tool if you do a lot of outdoor on-location photography. Just because you're shooting a photo with intentional motion blur doesn't mean that it has to be soft or out of focus. I'm going to go into the details panel and I'm going to bring down our small details. Now this is all the stuff that's happening in the blurry parts, we don't necessarily need that information, but I am going to raise the medium details to bring back all the stuff that's frozen from our subject. And you can see here a much clearer view of the before and after so far that we've got going. We are shooting a portrait image, however, my personal Luminar hack is to go into the landscape tool and if I bring up this golden hour slider, you'll notice that we'll get really, really rich skin tones out of our subject. Now I think the no image is complete without a vignette, so we're going to go to the vignette tool. I'm going to bring the amount down to darken the edges of our image. The reason I want to do that is to bring the focus back to our subject, removing any distractions from the outside of the frame. If I go into the advanced settings, you can see here we can shape that up even further using roundness, feather, and my personal favorite, inner light, which continues to push out the focus on our subject in the middle of the frame. At the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that we're going to be doing a magazine style edit. To help with this, I'm going to go into the mood tab and you'll see here we have a drop down of a ton of really awesome creative LUTs. If I hover over them, it gives us a quick preview of what that's going to look like. I've decided that the smoky LUT is kind of best what we're going for here. It gives me a really warm color palette while still matting out the highlights and the shadows, this gives it a very printed feeling. And speaking of a printed feeling, we do have the option to add a manual film grain here. I'm gonna push the amount a little bit, and then under size and roughness, I'm gonna make the size really big while keeping the roughness really small. This just helps give it a tactile feeling as if you were reading it in print. Okay, so my final tip is that if you really wanna push your images to that next level, go over to the layers tab on the left side here, and they have tons of great overlays from light leaks, flares, sparklers, and so on. I think that this overlay is gonna look really good with this, and it's just feeling a little too bright. Luckily, all the tools we have over here in our develop settings will work on this layer. So if I wanna make it a tad darker, I can go into the curves, I can go to my black point, I'm just going to bring that black point in a little bit and that helps it blend my overlay into my original image. Once that overlay is applied, this is all feeling really blended and we're really achieving that magazine style edit I was talking about at the beginning. Our colors are really poppy, we have overlays and sky enhancements to create depth, we have a ton of grain on top to make it feel tactile. The very last thing I'm going to do is click on these three dots right here and I'm going to save this as a preset. I'm going to title that Magazine Edit. And now we can apply this edit to any of our images in our gallery, which makes editing a full shoot so much faster. Just take a quick look at how far we've come with a couple of very simple tools and no masking whatsoever. If you found this video helpful and you're curious to learn more about Luminar Neo's tools, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.